Number 22. A bullet in a gun is accelerated from the firing chamber to the end of the barrel at an average rate of 6.2 times 10 to the 5 meters per second squared for 8.1 times 10 to the minus 4 seconds. What is its muzzle velocity? That is its final velocity. All right, so let's write down what we're uh, given. So it says that the uh, bullet uh, is accelerated at this particular rate, right, of 6.2 times 10 to the 5. So let's write that down. Acceleration is equal to 6.02 times 10 to the 5 meters per second squared. Okay. It also says that it is traveling with this acceleration for 8.1 times 10 to the minus 4 seconds. So let's write down that as the time. So 8.10 times 10 to the minus 4 seconds. That doesn't say it explicitly in the problem, but since the bullet is being fired, right, we have to assume that it is starting from rest. So in some books you might see it written as v naught. Right, that stands for initial velocity. I actually prefer to write VI, but they're going to mean the same thing. That's zero meters per second. And then what they're asking for is they're asking for the final velocity. Um, so they're asking for VF. Okay, so what we want to do now is we want to think about do we know a relationship between these three variables? Uh, excuse me, these four variables. And let's see. Bam! Now here's all of the formulas we need for this chapter. I'm going to put it over here on the upper right-hand corner. So take a look at those formulas. And let me know if there's, well, I mean, you can let me know. I won't hear you. But think about if there is one particular formula there that relates all four of the variables I circle in red. So if we search through it, um, what do you guys think? So keep looking if you can't find it. All right, so we have... Final velocity, initial velocity, acceleration of time, and here it is right at the top, right? So that's the one we're going to use. So let's write it down. So we have final velocity is equal to the initial velocity plus the acceleration multiplied by time. So if I know three out of these four variables, that means I can solve for that fourth one that I don't know. So we're looking for the final velocity, so let's leave that as Vf or V sub f. The initial velocity is zero. The acceleration in the problem is going to be 6.02 times 10 to the 5. Right, meters per second. I'm just going to leave out the units uh, for now, uh, just to make things neater. And then the time, it says that it's 8.10 times 10 to the minus 4 seconds. Okay, great. So just remember uh, to check the consistency within the units here, meaning the time values um, have to be consistent. They, they are both in seconds, so that's good. And my meters, I actually don't have any other um, value in which they gave me the, the uh, value of the displacement or the unit of the displacement. So uh, that should be fine. Just know that when you calculate your final velocity, it will be in terms of meters per second. All right. Okay. So now let's go back to the calculation here. And all we have to do is basically just plug it in, right? So take 6.02 times 10 to the 5. Multiply that by 8.1 times 10 to the negative 4. And, wow, it's pretty fast. So that reaches a final velocity of 400. And I'm going to round to um, three sig figs, 488 uh, meters per second. That's the final velocity of the bullet. Three significant figures because I have three significant figures in my acceleration and three significant figures in my time. Therefore, I should have no more than three significant figures in my answer. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Hope this helped. And uh, if it did, please subscribe, and we'll see you next time.